subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! We are here another beautiful day in the Caribbean. As you might know, we are in Cancun with Jordan. Hey Jordan. Oh, so we're in the Highlands, it's actually sunny here. Yeah, so it's leg day, it's our last leg session before we fly out to Worlds. It's one big set of 10. Luke went in himself uh, uh, just to redo the press medley as yesterday was, you know, it was slipping a wee bit and just get his head a wee bit better for it. So, how did it go? Come on, good. Come on, yes. So you do a medley. Listen, we can have bad days, but what we do after them makes us the people we are today. Remember that. It's a learning curve. We saw all the comments, obviously all you guys were commenting, use this stuff for anti-sweat stuff. Put that on so I'm not sweating as much in my belly. Much appreciated, thank you guys for that. Uh, Brian Shaw's grip shirt on as well, which was great. It's the best time to learn is in the gym, exactly. rather than on the playing field. Exactly. That's what we do best. We make mistakes to learn here when we're out there. We're like a rifle. Like a rifle. 100% accuracy. True, guys, straight and perfect. Something coming out on Friday, 5pm. Oh. So as this video is out, so will these be. Cheers Tom, here's a good session. Cheers. <laughs> So guys, we have started our warm-ups with a uh, squatting, getting World Strongest Man style. The groups and the events for World Strongest Man gets released midnight UK time tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific time. <laughs> I'm very smart, USA. So yeah, basically Saturday morning here. So who's Thomas Luke gonna get? Hey, who do you want to get? Anyone, mate. Anyone and everyone. The bigger the fish, the more I can crumble them when I beat them. Do you have any tips for squatting, Luke? So obviously, when you've got the weight in your back, it's gravity that pushes you down. So I like to reverse the gravity thought process and pretend I'm doing a handstand. So when I'm doing a handstand, I'm pushing away with my hands. So when I'm squatting, I like to think that I'm pushing up with my hands, which takes all the pressure away from my hips and my knees. So it's like Albert Einstein stuff, but reverse the gravity process and you'll make the squats easier. How about you mate, do you have any tips for squats? So another tip guys, right? You should always think about biceps when you're squatting. Because when you go down, your biceps go down. When you go up, your biceps go up. And it takes everything away off your quad. So it's like, it's like biceps like a quad. You, know, you just think of it in your head when you're squatting. And it's up and down and down. And it releases a lot of toxins from your body. We've just done 220 there, so we're gonna to go to 260, then see how that feels. We're gonna get the wraps on at 260 to get used to them. The plan today is to do the 320 for well I've got like eight to ten, but I've never done more than six, five reps at 320, so anything above six I'd be buzzing with. You know, it's probably above comp, comp weight at worlds, you're probably talking 315 at worlds, so if I can get six to ten reps on this it'll be great. So Do people do your apps or do um, you yourself? There, there's people there to help, but I'm probably just going to do them myself because I think if you take on someone else to do something for the first time in a big competition like that, 
I don't necessarily like them too tight and Tom and I are used to doing them ourselves and stuff so in reality I'll probably just do them myself, wrap myself just because I'm confident in the fact that I know how to wrap my knees the way I like them they might not be the, the best technically as per you know the powerlifting standard but for me it works and that's all that matters don't get too caught up in how other people wrap and you know it's if you find a way that like if you find a way that you are comfortable and confident in squatting with wraps on then kind of do that is done. I had in my head six to eight but I grinded out to ten which has really felt really good you know I'm not known for a squat and that's my best ever ten reps hot away ever so it gives me some confidence that when I go out there I know I can push a few more so you know I've just got my head in it this week in training there's always going to be mistakes and slip ups and stuff but if you can do that in training and I need to peak at World Strongest Man that's why we have coaches and nutritionists so if I'm feeling good now well, if I'm feeling 100% now, it's it's wrong, so... But like I said, I feel this week... Touch wood, my brain's wood, that uh, it's all going good so far. Squats again. Um, when I seen 320 for 10 on the programme, I was like, geez, that's going to be tough in this heat, but I got it done and I'm happy, so... On to uh, the last session tomorrow, which is going to be events, but... Time to finish this leg session and get it done. Yeah. <sighs> Position for the first rep, had the axle bar too far up my neck, so that kind of threw me off. I was actually quite happy how I recovered, to be honest. When I did the first rep, I thought I was going to dump it. I'm confident enough with my squats. Happy got the pressing medley a lot better. That was my kind of main thing. Squats was yeah, squats are squats. We're going to Tom says we're going to finish off our accessories now, and then we've got our last event day. Our last event day um, will be tomorrow. Hopefully the weather stays. Nice and sunny, because we could do with sweating a little bit more. That is Thursday done. Good day today, and a busy morning. New shorts, new t-shirts out on the website. When this video goes out tomorrow night, they will be now available, so check out the link, www.stoltenbrothers.com for all your merchandise needs. How's the session? Happy? Yeah, good. 320 times 10, 
ticked off. And I'm pretty tired now and speechless. How was your session? Thanks, Tom. That was nice of you to ask. And I need to delay it a wee bit, you know. Uh, yeah, I was happy got the medley done again, so that felt really comfortable. That's the first time I've dumped a squat in a while. Everyone's probably done it before when you put the bar too high on your neck, it just pushes you down a wee Still bit. seven reps of it. <laughs> yeah, so no, I, I have been enough. Yeah, it'll be fine come the competition, come Worlds. We're actually finding out tonight, so this will be yesterday, whatever, when this video goes out. But we're finding out tonight, as Tom said, 12 o'clock tonight, our time, um, groups and what events we have. So that'll be quite interesting to see what happens. Hopefully Tom and I aren't in the same group. Apart from that, we're not really fast, just take whoever comes, I guess. Final event session tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. Good chat, Tom. Tom's full of chat today. I'll, yes. I'll keep it going, Especially, I think. Especially, you know, you know, that's what it is. You don't think about tomorrow. You don't think about yesterday. You think about today, what you're doing, and then you just play it by ear. That's how I've done it this week. Stress-free. Take my guidance, guys. So what are we doing tomorrow? Once I wake up tomorrow, we'll find out. Big casual, Tommy. Uh, big shout out to Big Jordan Mulligan out in Cancun, representing. Jordan, it'll be worth it because we're coming back. Shiny gold, baby. Shiny silver, baby. I'm sure living in Cancun for a couple of weeks is hard life, Jordan, but we hope you're having a good time. Hope you're getting some nice footage. Looking forward to seeing you. Hope you're not swung with the crocodiles yet. Or dropped your red cameras in there. Stay safe. Smile. And make sure you stay spicy. And please ring that little bell. Uh, and please keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding.